What's going on guys? So one of the newer formats to the channel is my monthly gym rotation. So I do like to wear light, fresh, rather weaker fragrances to the gym. And this month it's a little bit different than it was last month. I did change out a few different things. And uh, this should be a relatively quick video for the most part, but I want to talk to you about them. This is for all my gym goers out there that watch the channel. Stay tuned. Starting with one that I haven't wore in quite some time. I don't remember exactly how many times I wore it, but it was a fair amount, at least a handful of times. I ended up going with Nautica Voyage Sport. Nothing special here. I'm starting to reach for the Nautica fragrances again because it's been quite a while since I've been having anything Nautica in my rotation. I love the way this smells. Just so soapy clean, creamy woods, fresh, very sporty as the name would imply. Smells exactly like Lacoste Essential Sport. So if you have that, this is extremely redundant. It's literally the exact same fragrance. Um, I was at my buddy Steve, fragrance fanatic, owner of Kingdom Fragrances. I was at his house, shoot, it's been like two years now since this happened, where uh, we were both featuring this in a cheap fall fragrance, a high humidity video or whatever, and we discovered that they were the same exact damn fragrance. But, so if you have that, you don't need this. If you have this, you don't need that. Um, and they cost about what and what and perform about the same. Like, it's literally the exact same fragrance. Nothing special here, but when it comes to just something to leave in your gym bag that's going to be fresh and clean, does have decent performance, but nothing that's going to really reach out and grab too many people. When you walk by, they may get a light whiff of you, but it's just going to be that fresh, inoffensive, almost shower gel-like type of smell. Just nice and clean. Easy going citrus aromatic that uh, you really can't go wrong with for the gym. Anything from Nautica usually works, especially from this Voyage line. It's Nautica Voyage Sport. Now this is one that I bought and kind of shelved for a while and kind of forgot that I even had. I wore this out the shower the other night. I've wore it to the gym twice in the past week. I just started putting this in the rotation. It actually smells really damn good. I'm talking about Jaguar Pace Accelerate. The flanker to the famed peppery shower gel scent of Jaguar Pace. Now, I say fame because it did have some hype at one point a few years ago. This stuff's actually really good. Good atomizer. Very fresh and spicy. Kind of like what I was talking about. It's a direct correlation to the original version of this, Jaguar Pace, the you know darker blue glass. Um, this one actually has some nice airy components to it. Um, there's a little bit of a watery feel here at the top, but a lot of spices that don't necessarily smell just like green spice. Like it's almost like a peppery type of kick, almost a pepper wood. There's a pretty deep woody feel here as well. It's not crazy complex. It kind of reminds me of some things, but I can't quite pinpoint what. But this typically is a little bit better performance than I like for the gym, but it's not so loud that it's in your face and you're going to smell me in the, at the next machine or the next bench or whatever. But this actually... Decent performer, like six hours on my skin. Like I said, it's typically a little bit more than I like for the gym. I usually like, you know, fragrances that'll go two to four hours before they burn off on my skin. This one definitely performs a little bit better. After about an hour, it does really calm down. So if you're the type that likes to drink your pre-workout before you go to the gym instead of on your way to the gym, you can throw this on and by the time you finish it, get rolling and drive to the gym. It's already calmed down and it's a bit more subdued and more suitable for what I like for the gym because I'm not there to try to grab attention to show out in any way, shape, or form. It's just something for me personally as a fragrance lover. That's why I wear a fragrance to the gym, but this is underrated. Nobody talks about this fragrance and you can get it very, very cheap for a decent sized bottle too. What size is this? 100 ml. My other bottle of the regular Jaguar Pace is a 60 ml and I paid like maybe two, three bucks more. Low 20s for this. It's actually solid. This is kind of under the radar. Kind of a hidden gem, to be honest with you. This is great casually, and it's definitely great for the gym. Jaguar Pace Accelerate. Next is Old Faithful. This is usually going to be in this video because it's my favorite fragrance to wear at the gym. I actually wore this to the gym today at the recording of this. But Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct Blue. This is the bottle I keep in my bag in the event I forget to spray something before I leave the house. I usually go for my larger bottle. Um... If I'm remembering to spray while I'm at home and I'm in the mood to wear this, this is such a great fragrance. 
I like all of the fragrances in this line. I have all four. I have multiple bottles of two of the four. This one, for example. Multiple bottles of First Instinct together. Love the original. Love the extreme. They're all good. They're all good. Are they special? No. Are they great performers outside of the extreme? No. This one, like a three-hour fragrance. It is pretty damn loud in the first 30 minutes, though. If you spray this before you walk into the gym, people are going to smell you. This is a loud fragrance for about 30 to 45 minutes. Then it sits a lot close to the skin, and it's kind of a little bit better than a skin scent for about two and a half, three hours at best. If you spray your clothes, you might get a little bit more. I just spray my skin with this one because I'm just doing two to three sprays depending on the strength of the fragrance, but I typically do like three sprays for my gym fragrance. This is plenty. Blue, as the name and color would insinuate, a lot of fresh, spicy green essence and facets to it. A little bit of a shower gel feel. It's typical, kind of generic, cheap blue fragrance. It does the job, though. I really, really dig this stuff. Like I said, it's my favorite gym fragrance to wear. Um, has been for a long time now. This is my second one-ounce bottle. And I've had this 100 ml for quite a while, but it's my go-to for the gym. Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct Blue. Next is another newcomer to the collection. Um, I wore this to the gym just once. I did wear this out the shower. I did wear this casually. I wore it all day long. It'll be in at the day this goes live. The next video, the following day, is going to be my weekly rotation. And this will be in it for one of the days. All day long. I went with David Beckham Classic. I really like this fragrance. Performance is very weak. Um, weaker than... It's flanker that I also have in this video that I tend to wear to the gym. But it smells so damn good. This is like two hours and it's gone. It is weak. It's very weak. Perfect for the gym. If you're going to wear it during your day, you're going to have to refresh. This has that tonic water smell to it. That crisp, fresh, spicy edge. Bright, fresh tonic water. Gin hit. Kind of a juniper feel. I don't even remember the notes. I think I've looked at the notes one time. But that's what it smells like to me. It does have a sporty essence to it, but it has a little bit more of a work, work setting, office setting type of vibe with the scent profile. Performance, very inoffensive. It's, it's subdued. It's close to the skin. After 30 minutes, this stuff is sitting close to the skin. I don't get random wafts of it. That's why it's actually perfect for the gym. This is a great fragrance to wear when you, you want to wear something that smells very nice. It's very inoffensive, but you don't really want to garner any attention. There's people out there that do love fragrances, but are not looking to get any attention from other people with their fragrance. Stuff like this would do that. This will do the trick, and it's cheap. I paid $13 for this. I think it's a 90 ml. Yes, 90 ml at was it Burlington I picked it up. Yeah, at Burlington, and I couldn't be happier, to be honest with you. And I'm saying that about a $13 two-hour longevity fragrance. I have uses for these things, and this video is the, the main use for that. Admittedly, I did wear it out the shower. I did wear it casually. I just really like this fragrance. If you got to have more than two hours of performance, though, this is a complete pass for you, even if it was $1. But for $13, I'm very happy with this. This is going to be pretty often in my gym rotation. It's David Beckham Classic. Speaking of said flanker that performs way better, David Beckham Classic Blue. I like to wear this one to the gym and out the shower. This is kind of Nautica Voyage-esque type of scent profile. Very much a Nautica Voyage type of smell. A little bit more soapy and less fruity. Because you get that crisp green apple, white floral tone from Nautica Voyage. Here it's more of a lavender soapy bomb type of smell. Uh, much more of a shower gel scent. With still a lot of elements of the Nautica Voyage scent profile. Like it's going to definitely remind most i would think at least it does for me of nautica voyage so um they're kind of in the same realm of price this is another 13 dollars fragrance at the rack stores like maybe 15 online for this 90 ml it's kind of what and what in price with nautica voyage and it kind of it almost performs as well because believe it or not nautica voyage performs pretty well for me it's like a six to seven hour fragrance on my skin with pretty good projection for about an hour and a half here, I get pretty good projection for about an hour, then it starts to sit close to the skin, and this one I do get every bit of like four hours on my skin. So about double the performance from its original David Beckham Classic, though I do think this one smells better. Nothing wrong with this one. I like a nice clean shower gel scent for the gym. This one really does the trick. This is another one, very underrated. If you're the type that you have a similar taste to me, similar philosophy when it comes to wearing fragrances to the gym, this might be a great choice for you. If you just like to wear something cheap and clean, that's kind of my go-to, as you can see. Fragrances like this do the trick. I definitely wore this 
at least a handful of times to the gym, maybe a little more this month. David Beckham, classic blue. And last but not least, this is making an appearance two months in a row, Kenneth Cole Blue. I typically like to wear something in the realm of the Versace Mano Fresh scent profile to the gym pretty regularly. Whether it's this, whether it's a Zara Chrome Sport, whether it's Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for women, or even Versace Mano Fresh itself. I wear that one to the gym from time to time too. This has kind of been my go-to because it's my very cheap alternative that I have an additional sealed 30 ml that came in a bonus pack with this 50 ml. So I have two bottles of it. So it's like, it's easy to go for this one because I have plenty of it. And I really like the way this smells. Sharp and synthetic, sure. A little bit of orange going on, kind of a synthetic, sharp, citrus, orange smell. Um, it's actually quite nice. Uh, this is a rebuy. I used to have a bottle a few years ago and this isn't my first bottle. And then as it kind of settles in, it's pretty much that sharp orange and this, you know, aquatic sea notes, salt water type of smell. Like I said, very synthetic, smells cheap, don't get me wrong, but it's a good smelling cheap fragrance. Um, and then it settles into a light muskiness. Nothing complicated here, pretty straightforward. You kind of get all of the, the three notes from start to finish. Performance is okay. You know, four, five, six hours if you're lucky. I have gotten six hours before, but typically in that four to five hour range is what I get from this one. It's decent. I really like this one. My stepson's a fan of this one. He has a bottle of this as well. It's good stuff. This one will typically be in this video format moving forward. I mean, hell, the first two videos of this Jim Fragrance monthly rotation, this is the one main repeat. I don't know what else repeated from last month. It's mostly new stuff, but... This was the final fragrance. I, I think I wore this one. I might have wore this one the most <laughs> this month, to be honest with you. I think this is the one fragrance that might have gotten close to double-digit wearings in this 30-day month. But good stuff. It really is. It's a good, cheap fragrance. Kenneth Cole Blue. Well, Kenneth Cole Blue rounds out this month, September 2022 cheap gem fragrance rotation. I appreciate all of you that stopped in to watch because I know this isn't a popular topic for everyone. There's a very small portion of my audience, those of you subscribed to me, that are going to want to watch this because you're gym goers and you like this kind of stuff. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. Do you wear any of this stuff? Is any of these interesting to you? Look, it's cheap stuff. It's They're clean smells for the most part. If you want something that's a little bit more complex and more of a daily wear i would suggest checking into this one this is kind of the hidden gem maybe give a shot and roll the dice on fragrance of the video this is good stuff it's actually the strongest fragrance in this video too believe it or not jaguar pace accelerate the rest of the stuff my usual taste for the gym and until next time i will say if you wear any of these fragrances to the gym and you give them a spray now I'm pretty confident you'll thank me later because it means you got similar taste to me how's it going guys